A diagnostic set typically comprises a power handle, otoscope, ophthalmoscope and in some cases a tongue blade holder. The diagnostic set forms part of the equipment which is used on a daily basis to perform basic clinical examinations on patients. There are various makes and types of diagnostic sets, all of which perform essentially similar functions. The otoscope is used to examine the ear canal, typically if a patient is complaining of earache or deafness. The tongue blade holder is used for the examination of the throat in cases where the patient complains of a sore throat or hoarseness. The ophthalmoscope would typically be used by a doctor to examine the back of the eye, known as the fundus, using the pupil for access to ascertain the extent of lesions, growths, and also to examine the blood vessels for any abnormalities. For the purpose of this training module, we will concentrate on the power handle, the otoscope and the tongue blade holder. The power handle, which in this case is a 2.8 volt battery operated handle, is used to illuminate the lamp inside the otoscope, tongue blade holder or ophthalmoscope. The handle has a pop-up switch, which is connected to a rheostat, which controls the intensity of light emitted from the head, which is used to examine the patient. There are two locating pins on the neck of the power handle, and on each attachment there are two slots. Ensure that these are located opposite each other when attaching any head to the power handle. Gently push down and twist to the right for attaching and gently push down and twist to the left to remove an attachment. An oral or nasal examination. The otoscope is supplied with a set of plastic specula in various sizes generally 2 mm, 3 mm and 4 mm in diameter, used for oral examinations and a 5 mm speculum used for nasal examinations. The smaller size speculum can be used for nasal examinations in infants and children. Most suppliers offer a range of disposable specula which can be purchased separately. Attach the head to the power handle. Select the correct size speculum for the patient, typically 2 mm for infants, 3 mm for children and 4 mm for adult ears. Attach the speculum to the front metal section of the otoscope with a gentle twist to lock it securely onto the otoscope. Depress the small green push switch which will turn the unit on and rotate the rheostat to establish the level of brightness you wish to use. For an oral or nasal examination, the rheostat would generally be on full brightness to ensure a complete and thorough examination of the ear canal. Prior to the insertion of the speculum into the ear, Carry out a visual examination of the parts of the outer ear to see if there is any discharge of fluid or blood. Also, touch the ear to ascertain the sensitivity of the area to pain. If there are excessive amounts of ear wax in the ear canal, then these should be removed using a recognized cerumen removing procedure prior to the ear examination with the otoscope. When inserting the speculum, the ear canal should be as straight as possible to ensure a clear view of the tympanic membrane and ear canal. This is done by holding the outer cartilage part of the ear, the pinna, firmly but gently and pulling back for children and up and back for adults. Insert the speculum gently into the ear canal and look through the glass window of the otoscope which is a magnifying lens to visualize the tympanic membrane and ear canal. Should you wish to insert a probe or similar instrument through the otoscope, 
The magnifying window can be slid open, the probe or small forceps used, then withdrawn and the otoscope removed gently. Switch the power handle off by rotating the rheostat towards you. Remove the otoscope head from the power handle with a downward push and gentle twist to the left. On completion of the examination, the speculum should be removed from the otoscope head. Any cerumen removed with a tissue or cotton bud and the speculum washed in warm water prior to putting it into a disinfecting solution either of 70% isopropyl alcohol or soaking in any recognized sterilization solution. Before using the speculum on the next patient, it must be removed from the solution, rinsed in clean water and dried thoroughly. On certain types of otoscopes, there's a small hole on one side. This is the insufflation port. A small insufflation bulb is attached to this port and air is introduced into the ear to facilitate certain ear examinations. Thank you.